I'm Bob Ostrom. I'm a children's book illustrator, and today I'm going to teach you how to draw a penguin. Okay, so first we're going to get out our sketch pencil. I'm going to go ahead and lightly sketch in his head here, and I'm going to go ahead and sketch in his body next. So when I'm sketching, usually I just draw very lightly and I draw loose shapes. Okay, and this helps me decide where things are going to go and how they're going to look. And sometimes when I'm drawing, I'll make a few mistakes here and there, but it's okay because it's all in light pencil. And as an artist, we make mistakes all the time. Okay, and so here's his body. You can see I'm kind of just kind of roughing him out a little bit here. I'm going to put in a foot over here, and a foot here. He's going to sort of be like he's waddling here. I'm going to put in his wing right here. And penguins are like any other birds. They have wings. They just can't fly. Okay, and so we got the basic shape right here like this. And you can see it start, we're, we're starting to see our, our penguin here. So let's get his eyes a little bit more developed like this. Throw in some pupils. I think we're going to make this guy happy, so we'll make him smiling. There's his chin right there. Okay, throw a few feathers up on top like that. Let's get his cheek a little bit wider there. All right. There's his beak right there. And this will be, whoops, this will be looking like that right there. There's his chin. We've got to give him a little stripe on his neck too, so let's do that like that. And you can see this, this sketch is still pretty loose. And when I go back and ink it in, I'll tighten up that, the drawing a little bit. And we'll get him looking a little bit, a little bit better, a little more like a penguin. But these are just going to, these, these sketch lines just tell me where everything's going to go. We'll throw in a little tail for him here too. Okay. So now I'm going to take my trusty kneaded eraser. I'm just going to lighten this up a little bit. It's looking pretty good. Okay, so now I've got the basic map down here, nice and light. I'm going to take my brush pen here, and I'm going to go ahead and just start inking them in. So let's start up here with his eyes. Ooh, that's a new pen. i got to break this one in a little bit. There we go. Okay, and now we're going to put his beak in right here like this. There we go. There's his mouth right there. Oh, happy guy. Put the tongue in here. body here, that kind of that bowling pin shape, right? I'm going to turn my paper just a little bit so I can get that line in there. There we go. There's the other side of his body here, like this. Let's bring that up over on the top for his head. There we go. neck right here. Let's throw in his wings. We'll put the other one in over here. That looks pretty good. Now let's throw in his foot. So we'll just show like a little indication of toes here because he's got webbed feet. So we don't want to show too much, but just a hint of that. Like that. And then we'll draw this foot over here that's sort of up in the air. 
Same thing here with the toes. Okay. Oh, don't forget his tail feathers. Two of them there. And we got to give him a tummy, so this goes along like this. and happy a couple feathers up top here I'm just gonna go ahead and throw in a little extra line weight around this guy just a little bit just to kind of get him looking a little bit sharper indication that he's standing on something. I'm going to heavy up this wing just a little bit over here. Let's come up over on the top forehead too just to throw in a little bit of extra line weight so we can see what's going on. Okay. Finish up that foot. Something I like to do with cartoons is to give them a little bit of motion line. So let's give this guy some motion line. Make it look like he's kind of moving. We'll just throw in a little bit of shading here and there. Okay. And that's how you draw a penguin. Thanks for joining me. I'm Bob Ostrom. You can find more art lessons on my DVDs or visit my website at bobostromstudio.com. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.